Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a question that many of us might not even realize we ask ourselves. Is self-talk bad? Now, if you're anything like me, you probably catch yourself having little conversations in your head all the time. But is this inner dialogue helping or hurting us? Let's find out. First off, what exactly is self-talk? In simple terms, it's the internal dialogue that goes on in our minds. This can range from mundane thoughts like what should I have for lunch, to more profound reflections such as am I good enough for this job? Self-talk can be positive, negative, or neutral. But the key question remains, is it bad for us? Let's start by looking at the potential negative impacts of self-talk. Research has shown that negative self-talk can be incredibly detrimental to our mental health. A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that individuals who engage in frequent negative self-talk are more likely to experience higher levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. This makes sense because if you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough or that you'll fail, it's bound to take a toll on your mental well-being. But why does negative self-talk have such a powerful impact on us? Well, it turns out that our brains are wired to respond to negative stimuli more intensely than positive ones. This is a phenomenon known as the negativity bias. Essentially, our brains are like Velcro for negative experiences, but Teflon for positive ones. This bias can make negative self-talk particularly harmful because our minds are more likely to latch onto these thoughts and ruminate on them. Now, before you start thinking that all self-talk is bad, let's flip the coin and talk about the benefits of positive self-talk. Studies have shown that positive self-talk can have a range of benefits for both our mental and physical health. For instance, a study in the Journal of Sport and Exercise Psychology found that athletes who engage in positive self-talk perform better and experience less anxiety compared to those who don't. This suggests that positive self-talk can be a powerful tool for boosting confidence and improving performance. So, how does positive self-talk work its magic? One theory is that it helps reframe our mindset. By consciously choosing to focus on positive thoughts and affirmations, we can counteract the effects of negativity bias and create a more balanced perspective. Positive self-talk can also enhance our problem-solving skills and resilience. When we believe in our abilities and focus on potential solutions rather than obstacles, we're more likely to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. All right, we've talked about the good and the bad, but what about the in-between? Not all self-talk is inherently positive or negative. Sometimes, our inner dialogue is just neutral, helping us process information and make decisions. This kind of self-talk can be beneficial as it allows us to navigate our daily lives more effectively. The key is to be mindful of the nature of our self-talk and steer it in a direction that supports our well-being. So, how can we cultivate healthier self-talk? Here are a few tips based on psychological research. Practice mindfulness. Becoming aware of your thoughts is the first step towards managing them. Mindfulness techniques, such as meditation, can help you observe your self-talk without judgment. Challenge negative thoughts. When you notice negative self-talk, ask yourself if it's based on facts or assumptions. Challenge these thoughts by looking for evidence that contradicts them. Replace negativity with positivity. Consciously replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. For example, instead of thinking, I'll never get this right, Try, I'm learning and improving every day. Seek support. Sometimes, talking to a friend, family member, or therapist can provide a new perspective and help you break free from negative thought patterns. In conclusion, self-talk isn't inherently bad. It all comes down to the type of self-talk we're engaging in. Negative self-talk can indeed be harmful, contributing to stress, anxiety, and depression. However, positive self-talk can be incredibly beneficial boosting our confidence, performance, and overall mental health. Neutral self-talk helps us navigate daily decisions and processes. Next time you catch yourself in a conversation with your inner critic, remember, you've got the power to change the script. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the world of self-talk. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Letters of Inspiration. Spreading inspiration one letter at a time, leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, take care and be kind to yourself.